the anime industry seems to be facing a mental health crisis. A recent survey revealed some pretty alarming rates of depression and fatigue among anime workers. I'm Troy from Marks on Anime, and today we're talking about the high rates of depression and other mental health issues being prevalent in the anime industry. Now, on with the story. The links to the articles I'm covering can be found in the video description. The anime industry is facing a sobering reality as a recent survey sheds light on the mental health challenges plaguing its workforce. Reports from Sora News 24 and Otaku USA magazine highlight the prevalence of depression, fatigue, and other mental health issues among anime workers. Starting with the article from Sora News 24, 17% of anime workers in survey have, have possibly had depression, other mental health issues. The Japan Animation Creators Association, also known known as Janica, conducts annual surveys of working conditions in the anime industry, wanting to investigate the health issues its members face. Inquiries about mental and physical well-being were added to the most recent iteration. Responses from 429 anime workers were collected, and when the replies were tallied, the association found that 66% of respondents feel that they are suffering from physical fatigue, and even more, 68% feel mentally fatigued. Arguably the most alarming data point from the survey, however, is that 17% of the participants participants said they have or have possibly suffered from depression or other emotional sickness. Uh, not good. Believe me, not good. Bad, bad. To put it lightly, this is definitely painting a concerning picture of an industry in crisis. I made a video last month about how animators at MAPPA, who create Jujutsu Kaisen, Chainsaw Man, and others, have made it publicly known that they're severely overworked and point to wanting to end themselves. This might not just be relegated to only MAPPA, it would seem, but across the entire anime industry in Japan. Taking a look now at the article from Otaku USA Magazine, they also highlight the prevalence of physical and mental fatigue among anime workers. Survey. Most anime workers have physical mental fatigue. Welcome to the party, pal! This latest survey was answered by 429 people working in anime. Not surprisingly, considering the long hours many anime workers do, the respondents showed they are largely suffering from fatigue. A whopping 68% said that they have mental fatigue. A slightly smaller amount, 68%, reported experiencing physical fatigue. Everything hurts, and I'm dying. The workers being surveyed were asked if they have, or have possibly, suffered from depression or other emotional sickness. 17% said this describes them. I am dead inside. In 2021, it was reported that 9 out of 10 anime animators leave the industry in three years because they can't take the way the business works. These findings underscore the grueling nature of work within the anime industry, where long hours and demanding schedules take a toll on the physical and mental well-being of its workers. The combination of long hours and high-pressure work environments has also led to concerns about work-life balance within the industry. Everything is garbage. Uh, no. Is it even worth it? Let's take a look at another excerpt from the article. Jun Sugawara, who created the nonprofit The Animator Dormitory Project that aims to better the conditions of anime workers, noted at the time, quote, Japan's anime industry is worth more than $18 billion. Even though Japanese anime studios produce numerous masterpieces every year, the actual animators creating some of your favorite anime work in abysmal conditions and face problems like low wages, long hours, and unfair labor contracts. Sadly, it's been like this for decades. On average, animators in their 20s earn an annual income of about $10,000. That makes their monthly earnings about $820. First-year animators make remarkably less. It's hard to believe, but some make as low as $270 in a month." End quote. My God. In light of these findings, there have been growing calls for the anime industry to prioritize the mental health and well-being of its workforce. The Sora News 24 article mentions efforts by the Japanese government to address these issues, including establishing a task force to improve working conditions in the anime sector. There's also a major importance on finding support systems and initiatives aimed at promoting mental health awareness and providing resources for those in need. I am in incredible pain. I don't know how the laws work over in Japan and how they can get away with stuff like this, but it just seems inhumane. I can't believe anyone would even accept these jobs, even if it's something that you would like to do. How do you live on this kind of money? And how can a company seriously justify only paying this much for people who are doing a huge amount of work for you? All right, I'm gonna go cry. 
The findings of these surveys could possibly serve as a wake-up call for the anime industry, highlighting the urgent need to address the mental health challenges faced by its workforce. As the industry continues to evolve and grow, it's essential to prioritize the well-being of those who bring its stories to life. By implementing measures to support mental health and promote healthier work environments, the anime industry can ensure a brighter and more sustainable future for its workers. If I keep my body moving and my mind occupied at all times, I will avoid falling into a bottomless pit of despair. As far as quantity and quality of products, anime is standing atop the mountain of entertainment, looking down over its nose at the failings of the Western media. Too many identity politics, burdensome regulations for the purposes of DEI, and tons of tribalism has led to companies like Disney and other major production companies struggling to put out anything that large amounts of people even give a damn about. It's Hollywood, baby. However, anime is becoming a beacon of light shining through the piles and piles of filth being pumped out of Hollywood in the past five to ten years. Anime always struggled to break through in the West, but now it's a big moneymaker on multiple streaming services and TV channels. Hell, Demon Slayer is releasing a dubbed version of their latest season in movie form this coming weekend, and it's almost guaranteed to be another smash success for them. However, while the product itself may be stronger than ever, the creators may be worse off than ever, and the Japanese are hard-working, nose-to-the-grindstone people on the whole. Could you imagine if this workload was put on animators in the West? We may see massive swan dive events off the tallest buildings in LA. Let's hope things improve, or the quality of anime, and more importantly, the overall health of animators may swiftly drop very soon. My anxiety has kept me up for over 50 hours. <laughs> Comment with your thoughts on all of this. Do you think that the Japanese government should step in and help regulate things for anime workers? Should they develop American-style unions? Or is there a solution that I haven't even thought of yet? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, please share this video around to everyone you know, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that little bell to be notified every time we post brand new content. I've been Troy for Marks on Anime, and we'll see you next time.